I got detained at the airport after security became suspicious of my bodily fluids. Oh, God. <laughs> which airport and which bodily fluids? <laughs> it was the Melbourne airport. Yes. And um, it was... Uh, Sweat? No, Saliva? What, like runny... Snot. It was snot. Oh, snot. Is that a fluid? Mucus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mucus, mucus. Yes, mucus. Not, it was it's mucus. a little bit... I think it's a little bit viscous for a fluid, to be honest. Yeah, so... We're going to call it a fluid. a man of science. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> OK, so... Mucus. M mucus. At the... Could we use it? Mucus is bad. Mucus is a really bad... Could we say nas nasal excretions? Can we use Someone nasal excretions? Yeah. Would you like sputum? No, I do not like sputum. <laughs> a, a goober. A goober. Goober. Goobers. Goober. Yeah. He's a goober. OK, so what happened next? I was in Sydney and I was uh, in a... Uh, hotel room in, in like the little the gym. Sometimes ho um, hotels have like a little gym uh, attached to them. I was on the exercise bike and I'd been going for about 15 minutes, I think, and I just sort of went like that. And I looked down and went, oh, that's not good. That's oh. not ideal. So you had a snail that's, trail. I, I had quite yeah. a snail trail there. I'd gone that, I was 20 minutes into my 25 minute routine. There was nobody else in the gym, and I did at that point make a split decision. Rather than going to the bathroom, I just decided to, to rub it yeah. until it kind of became less viscous, dried up into like a little ball, and I went, I know, I, if, I, if I had my life to live again, I'd probably go down a different path, but... <laughs> I, I, at that point, I just went, I'll just pop that into my pocket. Oh, and dear on, God. You know, that was, and I forgot about it. On the plane from Sydney to Melbourne, uh -huh. and when we landed, yep. one of the little, uh, do the beagles came over and gave me, paid me quite a bit of attention, and then they, they cordoned me off, and they took me through into the customs area, and they went through all my stuff. And it was at the point where the guy was going through my backpack and he pulled out my tracksuit pants and he started to go through the pockets of my tracksuit pants. Oh. Oh. That I went, oh, I remember a little incident from earlier. <laughs> and he reached in and he took out the said goober, mm. held it in his hands, just in his hands. Oh, no. God. Held it in his hands and he went... What's that? <laughs> and I said, I don't know what that is. <laughs> He, he leant down and he pulled up a little plastic bag, opened up, popped it in there. Oh, goodness. No. Sealed it and it was sent away to a lab. I would have just said drugs at that <laughs> point. I mean, it's drugs. I would rather be arrested been less, for drugs yeah, than that. Yeah, that would have been less humiliating. Did you get results back from the lab? I'm interested to see what it was. No, I never heard about it, but I assume at some point he got, like, a letter and he opened it up and said, it's not you, dickhead. <laughs> OK, so what are you feeling about this story from well, Frank? I can tell you, Frank and I were coming through an airport once from New Zealand, and the bloke with the d the dog sat down, and it's, and the fella said to Frank, "Do you have any fruit in that bag?" And Frank said, "No." The man reached into the bag. Do you remember this? No. <laughs> and, <laughs> and pulled out a full guava. <laughs> That's fancy. And fruit. the fella actually went. That's fruit, isn't it? And he went, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> we, from a... And there was another occasion when I was going into New Zealand where I somehow I'd managed to take a little plastic bag of my dog's poo because I, no. I'd been at the park and I'd picked it up for him and then I'd put it in the jacket and forgot about it. So the guy was like... The guy, the guy in customs actually said to me, at what point in time when you were planning this overseas journey did you say to yourself, mustn't forget to pack the poo? <laughs> right now, there's a room somewhere with a fella there like that and just shells with snot, guavas, shit. <laughs> just like... <laughs> and it's got the Frank Woodley Memorial... <laughs> I'm going to need an answer. I, what do you I think, think it is? personally... I've seen it happen to him. <laughs> true. So, so I think it's I think it's true. Bev. He is a bit of a silly bugger. Oh, I think we've definitely booger. established that. <laughs> yeah. No, we're gonna say it's true. All right, Frank Woodley, is this true or a lie? Well that story is a complete true. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Of course it is! <laughs> Amazing! No way! <laughs> Sorry, Chrissy, can I swap seats? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Frankie snot pockets. <laughs> there, were, there was not a single thing he said that I questioned there. <laughs> it is true. Or should I say, snot a lie. <laughs> <laughs>